than Kristoff, though. Waiting for the traffic light to clear. So here's a little view of Singapore. I'm at Takashimaya right now, but Toys R Us is right in there. We are here to our happy place, <laughs> along with other five-year-olds. And my main mission today is to look for the Hasbro Beauty and the Beast dolls and toys. I mean, I already got the Disney Store versions, but there are a few things from Hasbro that I would like to have, so let's find out. This is so funny. I ran to this place because I thought this would be the Beauty and the Beast section since I saw Emma on the top, but guess what? It's Batman. But, well, he's Batman. He can be anything he wants still even Belle, so. <laughs> Friendship is magic. Everybody keep asking me if I'm a Little Ponies fan. I think they're cute, but I am not, unfortunately. I'm not into them. Though I admit they are cute, so. And our ever so sad, ever after high section. I always look for the new Melody and new Justine because I love their new smiling faces, but I don't think we're getting them because even these aren't selling out, so I doubt <laughs> Toys R Us would bring more in. Oh wow, we got DC Superhero Girls too! I didn't know that! Who do we have here? Oh, some budgets. I've never seen them in person before. I am not a big fan of the new faces to be honest. You guys, look at the uh, difference between them. See? The original is so much prettier. I don't know what's wrong with her face, but she looks a little funny. So we've got Wonder Woman. <laughs> And Batgirl. Yeah, I don't know if they never brought in the other girls or they sold out. I'm not really sure, but the rest seems to be all Wonder Woman. But I've never seen these figures in person before, so I think they're pretty cool though. I think yes, yeah, since even the figures are just Batgirl and Wonder Woman, so I think these are the only two characters that they brought in for Singapore. We do have the Made to Move dolls, and the only one I want is the Asian doll, but she always seems to be sold out or never there because the Asian doll has the best skin tone to swap on to the Disney dolls and other characters because she has the paler skin tone. Even the pink Caucasian Barbie seems to be a little tan compared to when swapped onto Disney Store dolls. And I am waiting for this unicorn to go on sale so I can give it to Gaga. But for $50, no, I'll wait. Hello, Bobby, and their yoga section. I saw at the Hasbro Disney Princess. It's so funny that Hasbro dolls did not bring in Mulan when she's Asian, and Singapore is technically an Asian country. So we've got everyone except Jasmine and Mulan, I think. I used to see Tiana, but not so much recent days. Oh, there she is. Hi, Tiana. Frozen. Oh, we still have that Mattel 2 pack that they sing. They still sing. Oh, I, I knocked it down. They still sing. They don't. I think I have to hold both hands at once, but one of my hands is holding the camera, so I can't. I can't. Then Kristoff, though. And oh, yes, the Powerpuff Girls are here, too. When I got them, they were only starting to release them at the airport. None of them were in actual stores in the city yet, but now I've got here. And so unfortunate, the re-release Buttercups, they no longer come with their little skull clips. So yeah, mine didn't come with it either. Yeah, they're actually really cute actually, these figures. Where's Buttercup though? Oh, they're so cute. But oh well, I'm, I'm gonna stop with the dolls. I only got the dolls because they have hair. Aha! Lo and behold, I found them! So, I was quite surprised that they came into Singapore that fast. Usually it would take years. So I'm, act I'm definitely getting the set because this is awesome. I want to use them as props in their photo shoots. And I was actually planning to get this because I wanted the rose, but it would be too small when you compare it with the 12 inch dolls, so I'm going to pass on that for now. And we have the blue Village Bell, $29.99. And I'm definitely getting this one as well because I will tell you the because later, but I'm getting this one as well. She's she's 60, but oh well, I'll get it. And oh, the two pack. I've never seen them in person before either. I really, really like the flocked beast. That's really cool. And they are a hundred dollars right there, so. No. A lot of you guys are always amazed with how expensive things here are. Well, first of all, the currency is different, so 
my 30 would be like 20 something in US dollars. Still, they are a little bit more than what the retail price in the US is, but we have to combine tax and import charges and all the idiot stuff, so they always end up coming up really high. For example, this one is US 30 retail, I think, or 35, but now here we have her for $60 retail, so yeah, I'm getting these two. Looky, what do we have here? Spend a minimum of 20 and get a limited edition sticker. <gasps> Mine is more than 20. Mine is 60 plus 30. That's $90. I need to get like, what, five of them, six of them? I'm really bad at maths, but <laughs> if I check them out two times, will I get two stickers? Like one time 60, one time 30. Both of the times are over 20, so I get two stickers? I don't know. But that seems to be all the Beauty and the Beast things that we have. We don't have the singing bell doll though. But I'm not really stressed because since I'm not really interested in the rest. But I really do like this one. I'll reveal you my plans for her later. It's quite an evil plan. Oh, have I filmed about these? These purple Elsas. She's really cute. And purple really goes well on her. I wonder when the sequel comes out, I wonder what kind of color they're gonna give her. Because they've already given her blue for the movie, and then green for Frozen Fever, and then purple for these Northern Light series. So what kind of color is left? All right, I've got my stuff. Time to check out. Are you guys the type of shoppers that just browse around the entire store? Or just get whatever you came for and get out? I'm the type that just gets whatever I came come for and get out. Alright guys, crisis. So I actually left Toys R Us and I didn't get the dolls because guess what? As I was about to check out, I opened my wallet and I realized that I had lost my credit card. And the last thing I remembered- Oh! They, they have them too! But anyways, focus! So the last thing I remember was at the ATM yesterday and I actually took out money and then I forgot to take back my card when I left. So yeah, so right now I'm actually on the way to a bank branch to get a new card reissued. So let me just, just check real quick if they're the same price. They are the same price, but Toys R Us is actually giving a free gift, so I'll probably go back to them. Yeah, now right now I'm gonna go to the bank and let's hopefully it all goes okay. We're back again. All right, we're back in Toys R Us, so my things are already at the counter, but it's currently it's $90 because this one is 60s, this one is 30s, so if I get $10 more, if I buy 100 worth of dollars, I'll get some percentage of cash back, so do I get cups? No. <gasps> oh, this is cute though. This is kind of cute. How much is this? I kind of want this. Because <laughs> I love the way the straw kind of spirals around and there's Ariel. Alrighty, so that is it for this toy hunt. So I've got my Beauty and the Beast things and this was such an exciting toy hunt. I didn't even expect this to be this exciting. So I was actually going to go to two more places because there's like a Tsum Tsum festival happening at a different mall. And I also wanted to go to another Toys R Us to see if they got anything else. But I pretty much ran out of time because I had to run to the bank and all that stuff. And now I have to go meet my sister for lunch. So we already booked the restaurant, so I can't be late. So, but for now, that is it. Thank you so much for watching.